to my channel. I am Legenia and this is Sincerely Legenia where I make delicious keto low carb recipes. I do a little bit of vlogging and yeah, I show you what I eat in a day. But guys, today I have just finished making a fabulous four cheese and bacon quiche. Oh, so good. The crust turned out magnificent thanks to my friends over at Keto Connect. You are going to want to stick around for this one. It is it's the, probably the best quiche that I have made, even pre-keto and low-carb. You're going to love this one. The first thing we're going to do is make our pie crust. So, as I told you guys earlier, I am not a baker, as you guys know, but thank goodness for Keto Connect. They have a fabulous savory pie crust recipe that we are going to use. And it starts out with almond flour. So we're gonna add some almond flour to our food processor. All right, we're gonna add coconut flour. We're going to add xanthan gum and pink Himalayan salt. I've got both of those combined there. I'm gonna add that in. So now we've got those in there. We're now going to pulse this until it's combined really well. All right, so now let's pulse this until it is well combined. Okay, we've got that done, it's combined really well. Next, we're gonna go in with cold butter that's been cubed. We're going to add in our egg that's been slightly beaten. And we're going to add in apple cider vinegar. And it goes. All right, and we're gonna pulse this again. There it goes. All right, let me show you guys. Perfect. You see a dough has begun to form. That looks great. So let me remove these things. Okay, so now we're going to place this on some plastic wraps. Let me move this out of the way for a second. Get me some plastic wrap here. And we're gonna place the dough onto plastic wrap. get this out and kind of looks like breadcrumbs according to the recipe it says it should resemble breadcrumbs and it does all right you guys can see this crummy mixture here and so what we're going to do now is I'm going to pat this into a ball okay there's no need to knead there's no need to knead <laughs> so cheesy get these other extra pieces. Make sure you've got clean hands going in. All right, so got it. Got my dough into a nice ball. I'm just gonna sit it here and I'm gonna flatten that down a little bit. Flatten that down and now I'm going to seal it up go over this way first. Seal this up nice. Cross over that way. Fold that under and then do the same thing on the other side. All right, now I'm going to place this in my refrigerator. It says for a minimum of 30 minutes. You can also store it for up to three days, okay? I'm gonna use this two days. I'm gonna put this in there for 30 minutes while I get my quiche mixture together. All right, my friends, so if you thought making the pie crust was simple, wait until you see how easy it is to make this filling. Um, first, we're gonna make sure we have our four cheeses ready and set aside that have already been shredded. So here I have mozzarella cheese, I have sharp cheddar cheese, I have Monterey Jack and Parmesan cheese. These are all of the cheeses that are gonna be going into our quiche, shredded and set aside here. Next, I'm going to knead four eggs slightly beaten. So let's crack those into a bowl now. And 
to our eggs, I'm going to add some pink Himalayan salt and pepper. I'm going to add about a teaspoon of heavy whipping cream. And then we're going to add, lastly, our milk. In it goes. All right, and we're going to mix that together. All right, that's it. That's our mixture right there for our egg. We have one more step we're going to make here for our filling and then we're gonna move on and get our pie crust prepared. So I've already crisped up eight slices of bacon. You're going to need eight slices of bacon. Yum. Now there's nothing like bacon. It smells so good. Uh, and of course it's gonna be amazing in this recipe. I'm going to crumble my eight slices of bacon here. One important thing to know is that as you crumble your bacon, you taste a couple of pieces. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's definitely bacon. Okay, everyone, and that's our filling. We've got our egg mixture. We've got our cheeses right here. And then we've got our delicious crumbled bacon. Now, it's been about 30 minutes, so let's go ahead and get our pie crust out of the refrigerator and let's get ready to put it together. and I shaped it around the pie pan really well. I have, um, I got the back of a spoon to help press it in and to get in the corners of the pie crust that I cannot get into. And also I noticed that as I was doing that, it was helping to distribute the dough evenly. And that's exactly what we want. We don't want parts of our quiche to be uh, really doughy and other parts not so much. So we want it to be as even and as thorough as possible throughout the entire quiche. And so that's it, I am done. And that looks pretty good, guys. So let's go ahead now and fill our quiche with all of the good stuff. So let's start first with our cheese and bacon. Okay, so I've got my crumbled bacon here. I'm going to just kind of um, interchange them and put some bacon down first. And not that it's gonna matter really, but once I put the egg in, um, I think it's just gonna kind of mix everything up anyway, you know. So then I'm going in with my cheeses. Then more bacon. I'm just going to put the rest of that in there. And then the rest of our cheeses. All right, so we've got our cheese and our bacon in our pie crust. Now we're gonna go in with our milk and egg mixture. And we're just gonna pour it all along the top here. All right, guys. So now we've got our bacon, our egg, and cheese all in our quiche pie dish. And we're gonna put this in the oven. 350 degrees for about 50 minutes. And then when we're done, we're gonna have a plate full of deliciousness. I cannot wait to try this out. So into the oven it goes. Okay, everyone, I have got my delicious keto quiche here. And I'm so excited to dive right in. I'm hoping that, um, yeah, this is cool. Just a little bit. I set, let it sit for about, um, for about, I guess about five minutes here on the cabinet. It's been sitting. I don't want to wait too, too long. <laughs> I'm ready to dive in. I am ready to dive in, guys. So.
It smells good. It has my house smelling so amazing. All right. Okay. goodness you guys look at that oh it looks so good and it smells even better all right let me show it to you guys this is my delicious keto quiche let's give this a taste all right guys the four cheese keto quiche is ready guys four cheeses and bacon of course we got our egg in there I am so excited. You guys already know, if you've been following me for a while, you know I am not a lover of egg, but I've always been able to eat quiche with no problem for whatever reason. But let's uh, give this a try. Mm. You guys, this is so good. And this is coming from someone that is not an egg lover. The bacon in this, of course, is probably the best thing. The crust turned out great. The four cheeses, magnificent. It's creamy. The crust is just right. You would never think that this was a keto crust. Um, it is absolutely delicious. All right, guys. I've got to run, so I'm going to finish this up, and I'll be back to close this video out. Let me just say, this crust is the best keto crust that I have ever made since I have been on keto. It doesn't taste too almondy. It doesn't taste weird. <laughs> you know, it tastes like a really good, delicious crust that I can eat whether I was living the keto lifestyle or not. It is so delicious. This quiche turned out better than I could have ever imagined. The crust has a lot to do with it. So thank you to my friends over at Keto Connect for this fabulous pie crust recipe. It is delicious, guys. I will leave a link in the description box to their website where you can get this delicious crust recipe. So good. And of course, the quiche recipe will be on my website as well. Sincerely, Legenia.com. Guys, thank you for joining me. Another great video. We did another great recipe, one that you must try. Um, guys, I've got a great quiche here and I'm going to be eating off of this for the next few days. It is so good. I cannot say enough good things about it. It is my prayer that you and your family have a blessed and a prosperous day. And I'm going to talk to you in the next video. Till next time. Bye.